Switzerland has recently declared a war on our good buddy, good buddy Burgundy, and Switzerland has happened to be allied with Great Britain, uh, and now we are working to get them out of the war as quickly as possible so we can help go help on the Swiss front. Um, we've also recently allied Prussia, and I'm wanting to get rid of my alliance with Brittany. Uh, not now, though, because it would incur a stability penalty, because we're technically allies in a war together. I think that's the reason why I can't do that. Yeah, during, breaking an alliance during war. Anyway, uh, I increased my trust with them. I also want to do it with other countries. Uh, Burgundy's already maxed out. Russia, let's increase twice, and then Japan. We'll max out. I think that's all of our allies, right? We only have five. For now, we will have, uh, one less once we can get rid of that alliance with Brittany. And for now, we are going to focus on Ireland. We're also building spy networks in the Ottoman Empire and also in Portuguese Southeast Africa because uh, for Portuguese Southeast Africa, we are hoping to agitate them for liberty. Uh, the Age of Revolution ends in just under four years. So after that, uh, I believe Portugal should be losing the anti-revolutionary zeal and uh, little subjects. Okay, now that never mind, that's on the same continent, uh, which is probably also why Aragon's liberty desire is so low. So hopefully, uh, both of those will have their liberty desire step up at the end of the Age of Revolutions. And we're currently working on a fort in Desmond. We're not doing uh, admin ideas anymore, are we? No, so we'll take admin tech for the first time in a while. Next level, I get more states, which will be great. these over to Burgundy whenever I can. What did I just see? Something about Kings County? Is that... Oh, okay. That's actually a count, uh, province in Ireland. Ooh, there's a pretty sizable British army. And they're moving to Dundee. And of course we have a disease outbreak. The trial, of course, will take the game Republican tradition. Ooh, we also lose corruption from this. But, uh, to gain the Republican tradition just so that we can keep John Adams for a longer time. He's a 666, so he more than makes up for the points that we just lost. And we just breached the walls. So hopefully this siege won't last too much longer. This is, the, my good general is in Cork. Not good general, decent, decent general. So once the siege is over, we will hopefully get uh, on track to, or be on track to cross into 
England and take on some armies. They still have a ton of troops, don't they? 145 infantry, 10,000 artillery, and 80,000 cav or artillery. Okay, so Desmond's one. Let's split these guys off. All of our troops to start heading into actually want to go through Northern Ireland instead. Okay. More efficient support for rebels. Cool. We did support rebels already in the Ottomans. Fabricate claims, counter espionage. Stop building spy no Could infiltrate their administration, but I feel like that's a waste since we're not exactly at war with them. We already, uh, their officials have already been corrupted, right? For less than a year. Looks like Switzerland's about to take another Britannian fort. And we are going to march across the Irish Sea. We know an army is somewhere in this. I don't want to get blindsided, so we're going to move one at a time. Tyrannical nobles uh, lose base tech and Connecticut or planters lose loyalty. Okay, we'll take the planters losing loyalty, I guess. And the planters are now disloyal. Uh, the loyalty, these guys are moving. I'm going to start moving these guys in as well. Planters are disloyal now. I can't call a diet until 1826, or no, 1813. Okay, uh, so yeah, there's two armies here, really. Oh wow, uh, the majority of the British forces are here. And they're going to attack into me. Alright, they will arrive on the 1st of October. Our secondary armor will arrive on the 2nd of October. I don't want to scare them away right now because I'd, I do want to take a defensive hill fight. Oh, never mind. They're retreat. They're changing their mind. That's Grasslands. We'll take Argyle. Uh, Great Britain's still on high enthusiasm. So that's Grasslands. We have a two. Okay, so we would take a crossing there. But something we can do is take this army up to the Inner Hebrides. 
Oh wait, never mind. They can get to there through Inverness. So we'll take both of those armies up, and that'll give them a crossing if they try to push into us from there. John Adams is tactical genius. We have high fervor. Uh, I'm actually going to switch over to war. We weren't. We didn't actually have a, any fervor at, at the point. At that point. So we're going to turn war on, and we'll have a long time of fervent focus. So I don't want, I'd prefer to not have the British army coming to attack either of these armies, so we're going to keep these guys close to each other. Non-intercourse act. No sale of lands to, made by any Indians or any nation of or tribe of Indians within the United States shall be valid to any person or persons or to any state, whether having the right of preemption to such lands or not, unless the same shall be made and duly executed at some public treaty held under the authority of the United States to regulate commerce between Native Americans and non-Indians. An act called the Non-Intercourse Act has been proposed. Passed the Non-Intercourse uh, non Act. And for 50 years, we gain national unrest plus 2, but trade efficiency plus 10%. Pass it. Extra trade efficiency is awesome for us. And it looks like they might be sending an army against ours. Yep. So, if these guys decide to go and attack these, I will move this army in. Yeah, okay, I have an idea. Come on, come and attack me. Brittany is pieced out. Occupied the Outer Hebrides. Now we are at an impasse. We'll see if Great Britain decides to do anything. Oh, they're moving something. Tempted to move to Ayrshire. separates my army, so I'm not going to do that. I'd like for this army to cross into the Inner Hebrides. Ooh! This might be a blessing in disguise. So, the way I'm going to do this this fleet's going to go up here. Converted something. I'm actually going to go for the hardest convert now. Because I think that's because we're able to, or because with our plus two stability, which is a recent uh, thing we're back to, 
we're able to convert faster. So the idea is that hopefully what they're doing is going to be that they're moving to Inverness to combine their troops to march across into the Inner Hebrides. At which point my ship my, or uh, my troops will load on the boats from the Outer Hebrides and these guys will make their way to the Outer Hebrides. And uh, I don't actually want that now that I think about it. I'm okay with what might happen. We'll see. There we go. Will they... Okay, they're going to continue. Second of April. Eighth of April. Sixth of April. I want to go get there on the... Ninth of April. They're locked in, right? They'll arrive on the 13th of April. They'll arrive on the 9th. It looks like it's actually going to work. So, they're going to move to the Inner Hebrides. We're going to move to Inverness and hopefully take it before they can take the Inner Hebrides. Regardless, they won't be able to... Okay, we're fine. Everything is fine. So, we're going to take Inverness before they can take the Inner Hebrides. Meaning that they won't control both sides of, the stra of a strait and can't cross their troops over. Meanwhile, our ships are going to blockade them on that island so that they can't go anywhere and they'll be trapped and forced to take 5% attrition every month. There we go. They're stuck. It is converted. I'd like to get another point of stability and we can take another level of espionage ideas. We can now fabricate claims for subjects and the cost to do so is lower. So that's going to be fifty-eight plus fifty-six, a hundred and fourteen thousand of their infantry stuck there. That's going to be amazing. And now we load our tr uh, troops onto ships. We don't actually need to force march. Split off the transports. Or no, I guess we can't do that. Wait. Uh, you know what? It's fine. So our army will hold the straits. No, hold the strait. Now we just need to take Inverness. And they're stuck. Right? This strait is across the North Channel. Please tell me it's across the North Channel. Cool. Alright. 
So our navies are pretty much stuck there for the war. Meanwhile, we can move the rest of our army around without much worry, I think. I say that now, I'm probably going to be proven wrong. That is going to be a lot of extra war exhaustion for England, considering most of their troops are stuck in the same place. It's also a ton of artillery. I only mentioned the infantry, but take military tech, which gives us the ability to upgrade our troops, which we will do. It's just infantry. And once again, going for mostly offensive. Offensive shock. Hold on. Offensive fire, defensive fire. Definitely want to go with one of the fire based or one of the fire focused troops. I'm thinking drill infantry. Decent. Or the best morale and the best fire. Compromise or and uh compromising with a little less shock. Which I'm, again I'm fine with. Drill soldiers were soldiers that had ears. Cool. We'll go with that. Now the only thing we have to worry about is the British fleet coming over and trying to attack us. And also if Burgundy were to end this war right now, because then our, all of our troops get black flagged. Or maybe not, they give military access to Switzerland. So. Uh, we would have military access through Great Britain. And now we just move down the uh, Isle of Great Britain. Oh wow, uh, one of my, or both of my spy networks are getting relatively high. Can I steal maps? Manchuria or West Siberia? Uh, stop building spy network? No, uh, counter espionage, fabricate claims. I think I'm willing to kind of want to sabotage their reputation. Diplo rep minus three? Sure. Why not? Ooh, that's a pretty big battle. What? Why am I in? Okay. So it looks like Switzerland took a an offensive penalty, a crossing penalty. That's hurt, really hurting them. Turn that over to Burgundy. And 
And it looks like they're going to lose... Nope. Uh, maybe not. Nope, it looks like they won that battle. That's going to be a stack wipe. And another stack wipe, hopefully. Good. Burgundy has uh, medium war enthusiasm right now. We need to get Great Britain out as quickly as possible. Um, curious about something. Let me see the military of Great Britain. How much manpower do they have? Haha, <laughs> zero. So these troops are now going to be decreasing a lot. I mean, technically, I don't think I even need these guys to hold this straight anymore. Yeah, let's do this. And we've gained the support rebels cast his belly against the Ottomans. Do I declare a war against the Ottomans? Because, oh my god, so, uh, this is, uh, this is almost too good to pass up. So if I call Russia in on, into this war, I would give them territory, so I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't even bother using favors. Support rebels. I think I can still force Russian, or I can. I think I can still give Russia territory if the Ottomans. Or, I, I think I can still give Russia territory with this Cassus Belly. Let's hope that I'm right, otherwise we're going to lose our best, one of our best allies. And I'm actually going to have this fleet hunt for enemy fleets in the South China Sea. So now we're at two, we're in two wars. Administration infiltrated the Ottomans. Infiltrated our administration. Cool. Good job, Ottomans. I'm glad to. It's good to know that we're both spying on each other. That's what I should do: is infiltrate their administration. Next time I have the opportunity to do so. We're at seventy-five spy network with Portuguese East Africa or Southeast Africa. And flip that to Burgundy. These guys will go to Dun uh, Dumfries to Try to assist with the siege. Wait, it looked like Switzerland was on low enthusiasm just now. Can I go to Northumberland? I can't.
just got breached walls. Switzerland is on low enthusiasm. Why, I don't know. Swiss war exhaustion. Burgundy is making gains. Swiss military strength. The relative strength of the alliances. Okay. Avignon is on low enthusiasm as well. Don't get too greedy, Burgundy. Alright, we've won the Siege of Dumfries. I have no idea if there are more troops in here somewhere. Yep, there they are waiting for something like that on the Battle of Cumbria. Um, I am going to make sure that I have um, I still want to ask Burgundy for military access so that I can have it for after the war. Brittany. Brittany needs to give me military access. Yes, I know the, the alliance with them. I just realized something. That's a mistake. I need a staging point for the Ottomans, and I know that I have one. One is production just increased. Okay. Oh. I don't think anything else has increased to the point that I want to withdraw anything yet. No, uh, 17 and 17 to 19. Everything, trying to get everything to 20 or as much as I can to 20 with uh, as much hope as I can have of having nationalism spawn. Anyway, uh, I'd say we've all but won this war with Great Britain. Uh, having trapped their armies on islands. Hopefully we can get this over with soon so that we can go and deal with the uh, Swiss and the Ottomans. But I guess we'll have to see.